Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where I talk about trading and analyzing Bitcoin, altcoins, cryptocurrencies and uh, a lot of other markets. If you're new here, I'm CEO, a professional trader and today I'm going to give you guys an update on the crypto market so you can understand where I think price is headed in the next couple of days. I'm also going to be showing you how I trade in my channel and if you want to learn more about that, please keep watching my videos. Before, before I get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and also that notification bell so that you're notified each time I'm posting a video. So we are looking at the Bitcoin chart right now and uh, what we can see is uh, it's been trading really well within this range that we had plotted out. If you haven't watched my video on how I'm trading ranges, uh, please do, do go and watch it. Uh, it has been really uh, beneficial for those who have been able to watch it. And uh, I think there's a lot of plays using this strategy. So currently what we're looking at on Bitcoin is that we made a liquidity grab on the top of this range and uh, made our way down to the middle of the range and basically made a couple of liquidity grabs one was for this level and the other was for this level so currently what we have is these two levels that have been um, taken out by the market maker we're sitting right in the middle of the range and essentially this short that we had we took profit uh, partial profits uh, at the 7400 level took partial profits at 7150 and uh, we had our stop resting above this uh, uh, this level and it essentially got hunted for the shorts i'm going to go into a lower time frame to show you um, that how to avoid something like this but essentially if you're just trading this on the four hour uh, your stop got hunted and according to our range, uh, range trading strategy this stop did uh, get hunted but essentially on a midterm I still do have a slight bearish bias so preferably I would have though I did not wanted a safer uh, stop loss for at least a partial of the position but I did not have that um, because this range is so tight I'm not being so generous with my stops. So I did have a stop above here, which was taken out on that wick. And uh, what we are looking at is a stop run on both these directions. And now price is uh, building some kind of a consolidation pattern. So uh, for me, if you were watching my video on uh, how to use the volume imbalance and delta divergence tools on tensor charts then you would have been able to do this and uh, essentially what I did was uh, watch the delta divergence signal on the one hour uh, caught a couple of volume imbalances uh, to the bull side here I was waiting for some big cells to come in and uh, I only got them over here and my strategy was to essentially wait for a pullback after seeing these buys or I was looking for a reclaim of this level and instead of the pullback we did get another move down and we got a stop run below that and after that we got a, a few big buys so I did get in and this is essentially where I did get in now you can see we have another bullish volume imbalance for a bull side so I am currently long and uh, looking for a bounce on BTC but my attention isn't so much on Bitcoin as per se in terms of volatility because I have been saying this before there has been some great volatility in odds and uh, that is what I have been playing so if you look at um, this is odds against BTC we were watching for this uh, weekly level to be taken out and for us to reclaim this and look for a move to the upside you can see that currently even though we have broken this uh, 
down channel on a lower time frame this is a channel that we, we broke out of we are yet to break market structure so i would like to see high highs and higher lows and high above that is where i would be very interested in the broad odd market to kind of start to move up again even though the broad market isn't moving what i want to show you is that there are i have a small list here you can pause the video and take a look at this list but essentially a lot of these are trending altcoins that have at least on a four hour time frame form, formed a decent trend that can be followed if you do utilize trend trading strategies we'll be talking about the adx and i'll be talking about the adx sometime this week on understanding trends and how to recognize them how to catch reversals the end of uh, uh, this week's blog post is also about how to catch reversals in trend so it's a very informative article which you would be interested in and uh, what we're looking at I'll, I'll just chart a couple of alts for you uh, here's engine engine coin uh, made a, a really clean uh, ascending triangle broke out of it and retested it this was a strong quarterly level and currently we are below this yearly open and you can see that this has been quite a strong level so if you are not already in I think you would want price to start finding support above this yearly open level if we do uh, you can trade it up to the quarterly resistance but essentially this would be the be beginning using the volume you can see there's decent volume this could be the beginning of an impulse and uh, a trend further up but i would not want to be confident until we start finding support over the yearly open so let's have a look at uh, Tezos has been uh, shilled a lot on Twitter. But you can see even on the weekly, this is the monthly chart on Tezos right here. And you can see we're pretty close to this solid resistance. And once I think, when, once we start getting daily closes and find support over this, in case you missed this uh, very good couple of months that we had on this coin, you would want to be having this monthly level reclaimed let's look at him on the daily so essentially this is where we are we, this is a very strong resistance level and if you are not able to catch these three impulses we are possibly close to the end of the third impulse you would want to see some kind of a reaction here uh, either price coming all the way down taking out this this level right here or finding support on the weekly resistance and eventually heading above the monthly level so trends like this guys there's quite a few of them i suggest uh, you have a look at this uh, list and try to catch some of these trends with us this is uh, atom atoms also been trending since september you can see uh, we shared this channel on our twitter we called a couple of public longs on this most notably the long or catching this uh, weekly support all the way up to this weekly resistance it was good 25 30 percent trade and this again was a very good shape for price to break out of currently we're on top of the channel and uh, these are the couple of strategies if you are not in possibly wait for a retrace to the middle of the channel also the 0.5 level break in market structure uh, higher high higher lows you could get that or you wait for price to get over the channel and basically um, reclaim this weekly resistance level and once we do again there's a lot of room to run for this coin because after this weekly resistance level we have all the way to the mid seven thousands the next decent resistance so yes there's still a lot of trending coins guys even though um, everybody says we're in a bear market there are a lot of moves to be had and uh, keep following us keep watching what we are trying to trade in case you're not being able to catch these moves um, also keep an eye out on the coins on this list a lot of them are trending and uh, on mid time frames and they could provide you with some decent trades i generally always recommend people to chart a very few coins considering uh, the market cap and the volatility you will always end up getting decent moves on them 
but if you chart very few then you will not miss a move so i recommend that you know even three four five coins if you chart them every day uh, i think it's a it's a great way to also know a coin understand how a coin moves and to be able to catch the actual moves on the coin so i'm gonna sign off now guys and uh, be back with the the weekly review at the end of the week and be sure to like and subscribe catch the the article at the end of the week for trend following strategies using adx i think be very very useful for all of you and uh, i'm gonna see you soon cheers guys